So last time I last night I got picked up by my couch surfer at the mall. Everything went fine. I'm at their house now and his family is really cool too. Uh, today we're going to a lake. No, actually we're going to Antigua, which is the old capital city of Guatemala. So we are in Antigua now and I have absolutely no idea where to go. Um, I just got off the bus and I'll just walk around for a while. So right off the bat this is your typical colonial touristy city. Kind of like San Miguel in Mexico or San Cristobal de las Casas. It's very colonial. So like I was saying, your typical colonial town, you have your cathedral. I'm just I'm willing to bet that there's a bunch of churches in this place. <laughs> kind of like Puebla. All colonial places have a bunch of churches. I'm here so early that everything is closed. Which is nice because there's no one around. It's funny how everything starts to look the same actually. They have something like this in uh, San Cristobal. <clears throat> I believe I've come to their plaza, main plaza. Check this out. Wi-Fi. Nice. So as always you have a cathedral. There are government buildings, which is a national palace all around. And this one actually has a really nice uh, fountain over there. So this place is very like Mexico because First of all, all their tourist places are very, very, very taken care of. This place is so touristy. And also the roads are really good. I'm amazed at that. So we're now in the more commercial part of town, where more locals come to. And I like this because it's where everything's cheaper. But I'm kind of glad right now because I found a place that exchanges Mexican pesos. Which makes sense because it's a bank from Mexico, it's called Banco Azteca. Just a typical Mexican mercado, where they sell all kinds of stuff. See what I mean by touristy? I don't know, I really like Guatemala for sure. There's something about it, I don't know. This town is full of little small places like this, which is really nice. Like this one's kind of, uh, not weird, but different because they have palm trees. This whole thing is full of palm trees, but this is not even local from here, palm trees. This is like, they brought them from somewhere else and then planted them here. And then as you come closer to here, they have this water thing over here, which used to be a fountain, which might, might have looked really cool actually. So this is like where people used to wash their clothes, and they still do actually. Public laundry. I'm not really sure what this is, but I think it's a church, but it's a sanctuary. Which I don't know what's the difference. So actually one of the reasons the Guatemala City is not is the capital and not Antigua was because there was a bunch of earthquakes. That's why a lot of the buildings are kind of like destroyed. As you can see here on the other side, I don't know if you guys can see over there, it's just a bunch of buildings that have been destroyed. So it's actually a museum here. So you can see the ruins, <coughs> the ruins of the earthquake. But I mean, 
I'm not gonna pay to see ruins from an earthquake. Thanks, but no thanks. Coming up to another church over here. And of course, this couldn't be a tourist town without a McDonald's. It's a big McDonald's, you yeah. So they have very different names for stuff here. This is uh, enchilada, which in Mexico this will be uh, tostada. But yeah. And I just had a, a soup, well it's called caldo, but in Mexico caldo is like soup, and here it was like, I don't know, it was like a bunch of vegetables. So we came to this small little cafe, and it's really nice, I like it. I don't usually have coffee, but I gotta use the internet. <laughs> so I saw this ad about salsa lessons, so I'm gonna try and join one. I'm kinda late, 